How you guys doing tonight? It's great, I'm really happy for you. <laughs> so I just flew in from San Francisco and boy are my arms tired from furiously masturbating on planes. So I'm single, and uh, the last girl that I was seeing, uh, she actually dumped me through a text. Has this ever happened to anybody else? No, just me? That's what I thought. <laughs> but uh, the text went like this. She said, hey, smiley face. It tricked me. I thought it was going to be a good text. Uh, and then she, she continued by saying, hey, just wanted to let you know I've met somebody else, and I really want to see how things go with them. I'm sorry. Frowny face. <laughs> It's okay, that's how most of my relationships usually end. And uh, so in honor of that, I have named my penis the Great Depression. <laughs> and my balls are the Great of Wrath. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, the time, let's see. It's been about eight months and 13 days since I've last had sex. It's not a joke, I'm just letting you guys know. Um, but I, I, I know that not because I'm a pervert or like a sex fiend, I mean, I am a pervert. Okay, yeah, it's because I'm a pervert. Um, but I'm sure it doesn't really help. That's okay. Uh, yeah, but like I said, it's been eight months, 13 days, because uh, last time I had sex was on New Year's Eve, which is a great time to have sex. I totally, you know, think you should all do that on New Year's Eve. But only if you plan on having sex with somebody else any time after that, because if you don't, it's just like a, it's a, it's a death clock. It's, it's a, it's a, and I'm sure it doesn't help looking like I might tie you up and leave you on a railroad track after <laughs> um, I'm actually, I'm a serial monogamist. I've only eaten Captain Crunch every day for the last 10 years. <laughs> it's wordplay people, thank you. <laughs> Soft taco, more like lazy burrito, am I right? So a lot of people ask me, you know, when I perform, because I always have cars, like, do you really need cars? Is it just part of your bit? Or do you have a bad memory? And honestly, I have a really bad memory. I've actually been running a support group for short-term memory loss for... Uh, I can't even remember. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, I'm going to try out some characters for you guys, if you like. This first character is called the Horse Whisperer. The Horse Whisperer. <clears throat> called the Backwards Progressive Redneck Philosopher. The Backwards Progressive Redneck Philosopher. You know, Skeeter, I think NASCAR would be a lot more interesting to let more women and Asians drive. <laughs> you know, uh, I think if the phrase close enough only applies to horseshoes and hand grenades, then the phrase better late than never should also apply to periods and pregnancy skills. I get mistaken a lot for being gay, and I have to explain to people, you know, I'm not gay, I'm just Jewish, because there's a lot of comparisons between the two. <laughs> we're, uh, we're both born that way. We're both prone to wearing tiny hats, and uh, we both don't recognize Palestine as a state in Israel. <laughs> it's a joke, people. <laughs> when I was younger, I actually used to think that uh, LGBT stood for, let's get busy tonight. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of music lately. You guys like listening to music? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You're probably wondering why I have a guitar up here, so am I. Um, my son is actually about to start high school next week, and uh, in honor of that, um, I'd like to share with you guys a little lullaby that I used to sing to him before he goes to bed. And it works every time, and you know, it's very easy to sing along, so if you can, please go ahead. Can you hear it? Thank 